Hi, this is Pet Dentist and Oral Surgeon Joe Banyard and I'm going to talk to you about feline chronic gingival stomatitis and share a case with you. This is a clinical term describing severe painful inflammation of the lining of the lips, tongue and gums of the mouth in affected cats. The back of the mouth is often especially inflamed and thickened but the front teeth can also be affected. Affected tissues are often ulcerated and bleeding. Please note this is an extremely painful condition. The cause is not known, but it is thought to be an overreaction to bacteria. It's associated with plaque and diseases such as FIV or feline immunodeficiency virus. It's also associated with some bacterial infections such as Bartonella and nutritional and hormonal imbalances. Affected pets can hide the discomfort for a very long time. So what do pet owners see in their pet? Usually it's bad breath, drooling, poor appetite and weight loss just because it hurts to eat. So we'll talk about George. He's a seven-year-old neutered male orange tabby cat. He had a good appetite. He came to me when the owners had recently noticed bleeding from the mouth and red gums and he had also been staying very close to the owner. So let's have a look at his mouth. This is the right and the left side of his mouth. Notice the bright red gums beside all of the teeth. There is also ulceration present, especially at the back. You can also see that the incisors are affected as well with gingivitis. Here is an image showing the back of the mouth on either side of the folds at the back of the mouth to the lining of the cheeks. The tissue is swollen, red and ulcerated. This makes swallowing very painful and therefore very hard for the pet to do so they'll very often draw. Here are full mouth intraoral radiographs showing minimal periodontal disease in most of the teeth but if you look at first molars there's quite significant periodontal disease as well. So here he has a big range of periodontal disease. Unfortunately scaling and polishing the teeth is not going to work long term and in this situation the most humane treatment for George was to extract all of his teeth as they were all inflamed so that's what I did. Here is what the mouth looked like after all the teeth had been extracted and the root sockets cleaned and flushed with sterile saline and sutured up. It's very important to extract all of the roots and here are the post-operative x-rays to confirm this. The tests that I did on George showed that he was negative for the feline immunodeficiency virus and the feline leukemia virus. He was also negative for the bacteria called Bartonella and although I took a biopsy and recommended histology, the owners declined that option. So he was sent home with home care instructions and Elizabethan collar to stop him from pawing at his mouth and rubbing his face. He was given lots of pain medications because he was very painful. He had antibacterial control medications and he had to eat soft mushy food until the sutures were all taken out and that had to be done with sedation. His recovery was slow but steady and after two months he was grooming himself, his appetite was normal, he was playing again, playing with his toys, he was way more sociable and he was eating and drinking much better. He was acting like a kitten so he and the owners were very happy. We want to thank our wonderful pet owners for allowing me to share these cases with you to help others. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Bye.